All right, today is Trigger Pull Thursday, and I'm taking a look at this government model Colt 22 caliber, and it is the Colt Railgun. It's it's actually the uh, it is a full size Colt, and I'll show you how much it weighs in a minute. Colt Railgun 22 caliber. There's a serial number and it is a trademark of New Colt Holding Corporation. U.S. importer, Walther Arms, Fort Smith, Arizona. Made by Carl Walther, Germany. Nice grips. And you can see it's very easy to pull that slide back. And today I'm going to be using these, uh, they're called the snap caps from Steelworks. They're actually steel. And they leave just a little bit of a mark on the rim of these things. I got a couple loaded in here. So let's load this thing up with snap caps. Here's how easy it is to pull that slide back. Very easy. Let's see what this thing weighs. Okay, this Colt rail gun. So this thing weighs two pounds. Two pounds, two ounces. So that's pretty, pretty much a normal weight for a 1911. And like I said, I'm using these uh, Steelwork snap caps, but I like to use these A-Zoom. Um, A-Zoom, they're not really snap caps. Uh, as the manufacturer says, do not dry fire snap caps. See warning on back. It says A Zoom 22 long rifle action, proving dummy rounds are designed to teach safe firearms handling. They're not snap caps. They may be worked through the actions of any 22 long rifle for function testing. Dry firing will deform the head and will limit their use to four or five hits. Well, that's fine with me, but I'll show you what happens when you hit it more than once. I think this one was hit three times in the same place. Pretty much deformed. Somebody could be getting rid of this one. But I like these better because it gives more cushion to the firing pin. So let's do a couple of trigger pulls on this. Colt Railgun. I'm going to be using the Lyman Electronic pull gauge All right, first trigger pull. Three pounds, four ounces, which is excellent. I have been polishing and uh, working working some uh, some of the bugs out. Not that there are any bugs in it, but you know, it's getting broke in after a couple hundred rounds. Let's do another trigger pull. Second trigger pull, three pounds, 6.8 ounces. And the last trigger pull is four pounds, 3.2 ounces. For an average of three pounds ten point zero ounces, it's really good. It's really a good trigger. So that is trigger pull Thursday for the Colt, the Colt Railgun 22 caliber. It's really accurate, and I'm going to give a little cowbell to 
Michelob Ultra, made in the USA, and of course the coal railgun. Knuckle bomb.